Hey guys, I have some awesome news. If you want to win a free Robux gift card, make sure that you use the star code MATRIX whenever you buy Robux. I'll be giving out gift cards on literally every video. And if you want more than just one, go onto Twitter and tweet at me proof that you've used my star code for bonus gift cards. Be sure as well to leave a like and subscribe. And now let's get on into the video. Hey guys, welcome back to another video today on the channel. We're in Vehicle Simulator today because they just released a brand new vehicle. This is apparently a dirt bike that they've released into the game and this is honestly coming out of like absolutely nowhere all of a sudden they just went ahead and dropped a brand new update with a brand new vehicle if you would really call it a vehicle i don't i don't know what the proper term for it would be but they added a new thing to ride today and i can't wait to try it out i think it's going to be a really really awesome vehicle i'm assuming it'll probably be lighter and easier to drive than like the motorcycles are and uh, so you know what actually let's grab ourselves the motorcycles first and let's see if we can get an idea of what those feel like because I think it, we're gonna have to do a bit of a comparison today. I haven't used this thing in so long. Whoa, what is what is this? Oh, oh, okay, wait, what the? What is with the camera angle? Um, what the heck? Why can't I move my vehicle? <laughs> Hold on. Okay, there we go. So I got it working and uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this thing around, do a couple of jumps, get, a, get an idea of the handling and all that. Of course, this isn't stock at all. As you can probably tell, this is the furthest thing from stock. But uh, as you can see, it handles really, really nicely. It's <laughs> as we launch into the air. Yeah, no, seriously though, it handles pretty nicely. It's it's a pretty good vehicle. I remember doing a stream before where I was using this against people who were using vehicles. And we came to decide that this actually handles a lot better than most vehicles. Like take a look at how we can go around these corners. Sure, yeah, they flip and all of that. I mean, it's a little bit wild, but in general, these handle pretty nicely. So I'm excited to see what the dirt bike is capable of. I'm assuming, again, it'll probably be better at handling, especially off-road and stuff like that. Let's head to the dealership, check it out, see how much it costs, and see if it's actually worth purchasing. I'm, I'm guessing it probably will be. I don't think it's a very expensive vehicle, but you know what? I was thinking about this game a little bit, because before this video started, I was just kind of thinking about, like, what I really like about this game and what I think that they could add. And honestly, I think one of the things that really makes Vehicle Simulator stand out is that it's not just about cars, you know? It's, it's Vehicle Simulator. There's different types of vehicles of all shapes and sizes. We have motorcycles, we have boats, we have planes, we have all these different things and for the most part I think people don't really even care. <laughs> to be honest, I don't think most people care about the planes, care about the helicopters or any of that stuff, and maybe, I guess if, if Vehicle Simulator really wanted to stand out again, I think taking moves like adding in dirt bikes and stuff like that is definitely a step in the right direction. I think just focusing on all these different things that make Vehicle Simulator so different than any other racing game. Like, I mean, look, we've got three different types of planes, one's a helicopter, but we have multiple different types of boats, uh, two boats and a jet ski, we have buses and golf carts and all sorts of other stuff. I think these are the things that if I had to suggest anything are the things that Vehicle Simulator should keep adding because those are the things that are really unique and people go like, wait, what? Like, for instance, let me grab this out for a second. Okay, here, for instance, this. When I did my video on this, everybody freaking loved it, okay? This vehicle right here, everybody loved because it can fly. I mean, take a look at this. This is what this vehicle can do and this to me is probably one of the coolest things in the entire like racing game genre. Genre. The fact that they've made a vehicle like this that actually feels like it's levitating. I know I'm going on a bit of a rant here, but don't you guys want to see stuff like this in Vehicle Simulator? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. You can tell me I'm wrong or dislike or whatever, but if you think that the game should have more stuff like this, let me know because this is freaking awesome and I loved when they added this initially. So maybe they need more of it. I don't know. You guys let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. But anyways, let's go get that dirt bike. Or this, for example. Hold on one second. This guy's got the Thanos truck. Do you guys remember? Remember that? It was so freaking cool and the city bus and all that stuff. This is honestly one of my favorite things. Look at this. Oh my gosh, dude. It's so sick. That's what I'm talking about right there. That's the kind of thing Vehicle Simulator needs more of. Also, I can't really find where the uh, where the bike is located, so I'm just going to buy it from the from the phone. So this is the dirt bike. It's 140000 dude. Holy. Okay, it better be good, because that's a lot of money to ask for a, a friggin' bike, so let's see how good it is, guys. Let's uh, let's take this thing out for a rip and see if it really is worth over $100,000. Here we go. Let's take it out. If I had to guess, it's probably going to be the new best motorcycle, because I don't think the other ones are as expensive as this, but let's take it here. This is where it deserves to be. 
this is probably where we should be leaving it in this area because this is uh, where dirt bikes should go. Hold on, let me let me turn this thing around real quick. And also, if you guys didn't know, you can like zoom in and get like a first person perspective, which I find to be kind of nauseating, <laughs> to be honest with you. But let's do one ramp. Let's do one small jump with the uh, first person mode. Oh God, see it. Okay, it does not make you feel good. All right, let me let me zoom out. <laughs> Never mind. That uh, that makes you feel kind of nauseous. So this area is probably the best area for the dirt bike. It, I think it just makes the most sense. But you know what this? You know what could be cool? Now this is just. Just an idea but what if they added like more dirt racetracks and in different areas that you have to have certain vehicles for because right now there isn't any new races I know they're adding in like a whole brand new map but hopefully in that new map we'll have different themed races for special cars so like obviously you can't go and take a, a dirt bike into a highway race I mean that wouldn't make much sense but what you could do is take the dirt bike into like a rally event like some sort of special motor rally event or something because that would be so sick to have only bikes doing a race. Oh, whoa. Whoa, what the heck? Um, okay, I think I might have uh, went underneath the ground here. Uh-oh, this is, this is bad. This is pretty bad. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, what we're gonna go ahead and do now, guys, is head over to the desert area. I'm gonna try to do my best to organize like one of those off-road races, and hopefully we'll get a couple of people with dirt bikes in it. So I'll head over there, I'll get that race started, and I'll see you guys in just a moment. I have to say though, once you take it into the desert like this, it really is pretty fun. It handles really, really nicely, and it grabs onto the ground. I mean, look at how it's, this kind of defies physics, but you know, it, it does work pretty cool and pretty nicely. Um, what the heck happened here? Uh-oh. Okay, whoa, whoa, okay, we're good, we're good. All right, let's join a race. Uh, dune rally, yes, that's what we want. We want to do a dune rally. This is the type of races that I'm talking about. They should be races, like dune rally races, only for like ATVs and bikes, because that would be so fun. All right, we got a couple of people here for this. Uh, one guy is in a McLaren, makes total sense. Let's see if we can do a good job against these guys. And one guy's in a Pagani. Okay, this, uh... Yeah, I mean, theoretically, I really shouldn't be losing this race, uh, but they're so fast, and realistically, in Vehicle Simulator, I think speed is really just the most important factor. I don't think pretty much anything else matters other than, like, how fast you can go. Because these guys are going to be done, and I haven't even made it to, like, the third checkpoint yet, so... Uh, I mean it handles nicely you can see it, it goes over the bumps and everything really really easily and you can tell like I'm not like needing to move around a lot so overall for what it does it does a good job but holy crud I don't know how these other guys are doing so much better they're like all the way up here I guess that's what it is though you know when you have a really really fast supercar it doesn't really matter what environment you put it in at least in vehicle simulator because they just go really fast anyways <laughs> but yeah I'm just throwing suggestions out because honestly I love vehicle simulator and I really want to see this game like revolutionize itself and, and add new unique features and really just continue to expand and blow up I mean that Hot Wheels event was one of the coolest things that's ever happened to any Roblox game but Hopefully that means that more good things are to come. Anyways, guys, this is the new dirt bike. We did a race with it. We took a look at it. It's pretty cool. I, I still don't know if it's worth over 100k. What do you guys think? Do you think it's worth over 100,000? That's a lot of money, man. That's a lot of money for a bike. So you guys can let me know your thoughts and comments down below. Thank you all so much for... Oh my god, look at that guy go. Holy. Uh, you guys can let me know your thoughts and comments down below in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, I'll see you guys all in the next Vehicle Simulator video. Take care, everybody.